how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video on another beautiful day out here in the mountains. And today we are chasing some big fish, big tiger trout, cutthroat, brook trout, splake, whatever decides to bite, I'm happy to catch as per usual. But I wanna get on some big tiger trout, that is the goal. It's a beautiful day, it's gonna be about 80 degrees or like 85 degrees, which is pretty warm. You know, we're into July and usually this is the more slow time of year for targeting tiger trout. But if we can just get on a couple fish, I will be happy. We got a pretty good hike into these lakes, so we're gonna get back on the trail. Hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Let's get going. All right, here we are, made it to the first lake. I think to start, I'm gonna strip some chronomids and leeches just along the bottom, see if we can pick anything up that way. Got him. There we go. There's a little fish, a little cutthroat. Yep, little cutthroat. I saw some bigger tigers down there, but uh, they didn't want it. Hold on, buddy. He's not huge. There we go. Come here. Come here. Got him in the net. There we go, you guys. Finally found some fish in this little log jam. I saw probably at least at least two or three real nice tigers weaving in and out of here probably just spooked them and this little cutthroat came out take a look at this guy it's a start not the big tiger we're after but at least we're not going to get skunked nice there we go probably about a pound cut not bad not bad good to get the skunk out of the boat thanks for biting buddy we'll just send him right back through there in those weeds there he goes nice all right folks moving on from that lake we did catch one cutthroat, so that's good. I definitely do want to fish a little bit later in the day, but for now, I just want to keep moving down the trail, check out some other spots. It's just the middle of the day, it's sunny, it's hot, so they're probably not super active, but we are going to get to this next lake, see what we can catch there. All right, folks, finally made it to the next lake. I just saw one hit right there. We got cutthroat in here. And then I think there's also some brook trout. Oh, yep, there's a... Dude, that might be a brook trout right there. I just spotted a fish. I think there's a brook trout. Or there's two. There's two fish. I think they're brookies. Hiding right under this patch of weeds and logs. And one just surfaced right there. Alright, this is a good sign. I'm going to flick this little chronomid down. See if they want it. He's right there. Sinking down, sinking down. Oh, oh, he just denied it. Dude, he got right up to it and denied it. Oh, goodness. Well, he looked at it, that's good. Oh, there's another one right there. There's three fish right here chilling. Let's go, oh, oh, he's coming to it again. Oh, he just missed it. He just missed it. He got it, there we go. There we go, brook trout, yep. Awesome, awesome. Oh, get out of there. This is the smaller one of the three, but we got him in the net. Nice. Check that out, folks. We walk right up to the lake. Literally, the trail's right there. Spot a couple brook trout. They're still sitting there. Flick down a chronomid and we get one. And you can keep these brook trout. You actually have to let the cutthroat go, but you can keep brook trout, which I don't know, I'm tempted, but I just kind of want to fish right now. I don't want to keep anything just yet. Pretty little brookie. Nothing too special, but it's a good start. And look, this guy's got kind of a funky jaw. It's kind of interesting, but we got him on that crown mid, tied by my brother. So, shout out, bro. There's a cutthroat right in front of me. There's a nice cutty right in front of me. We're gonna get him next. See you later, dude. We'll get him back. Nice, nice. Where'd that cutthroat go? He came right up here. And, oh, no, he's right there. He's right there. Watch this, watch this. Can you guys see him? Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, turn around, turn around. I don't know where that cutthroat went, but the brook trout are still chilling right there. Oh, oh, he turned on it again. Dude, he wants it, but he's just not quite sure. The only reason he went for it that other time is because another one was going for it, so he felt like he had to beat him to it. That same fish has denied it three times now. 
like he wants it he's shooting up to it and right when he's about to nip at it he's getting spooked out oh there's fish right here there's like dude i can count like four or five fish right here just right on shore watch this oh one's going for it no no no, no the small guy there's a bigger one right there oh brookie Fat Brookie came out from under this log. Got him. There's a couple big cuts down there. It almost seems like they're a little bit smarter right now. Like there's a cut falling right behind him. We gotta get him next. Come on. There we go. In the net. Brook trout number two from this lake. Seems like most of them that I've seen are all about this size. I've seen a couple nicer ones. Cool. Nice brook trout on the chronomid again. We'll get him back nice and quick. Just a nice little toss right there. There's a cut sitting right there. We're going to get him. Got him. Got him. There we go. Nice cut. Oh, get out of there. Got him. Yes. Dude, this is a pretty fish. Check this out. This is a beautiful fish. There we go. Got him. Let me come over in the sunlight where you guys can see him a little bit better. These cutthroats should just be getting off their spawn, but some of them are still bright red. Holy cow. Bright red jaw. Oh, settle down, buddy. Settle down. You don't want to squeeze them. Nice. That's such a gorgeous fish. That is what I'm here for. Big cuts. And there's bigger ones down there. We're going to find them. Let this guy go right here. See you later, buddy. Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> Three fish, we've been here about 10 minutes, if that, and there's still fish cruising everywhere, man. Got him, there we go. I wasn't even going for this guy. He just shot out of nowhere. It's not a bad one, not a giant, but it is the second cut of the day. Not nearly as pretty as that first one, but I'll take it. I tied a leech on too, so we got a leech and chronomid rig. Looks like he took the leech. No surprise there. Another chunky little cutthroat. Say later, buddy. All right, well, that was awesome. Hooked into a nice brook trout and my camera was off. Turned it off for like 20 seconds and drop it down just right here on the edge of this grass and a big brook trout picks it up. Wow, it's a nice fish. This might be the biggest one of the day. We're gonna bring him over here where it's a little bit easier to land him. This guy's putting up a fight. I don't even, I don't think he's giant, but he's fighting like it. Wow, I just love watching these fish fight in the clear water. This is a pretty clear lake. Not really murky at all whatsoever. It's pretty crystal. So just watching these fish fight is so pretty. All right, we got him, he's giving up. Ooh, that is a fatty. That is a fat fish. Still not a giant brook trout, but it's a good one for this lake. Beautiful brook trout. Love catching these guys. I'm glad we found some fish. That last lake was kind of slow. Now we'll just pop this guy back quick. Like I said, we could keep some brook trout for lunch. Just give him a little toss there. Shoots off. But I don't know if I'm going to have time because I've done a lot of hiking. I still want to do a lot of fishing. I just don't know if we're going to have a lot of time to cook today. I'm just kind of walking up the shore here and I'm seeing a lot of little ones every now and then, but I'm not even bothering to cast to them because I'm just hunting the bigger fish, you know? I've gotten to the stage of quality over quantity. This is a nice little view of the lake. Super pretty. It's just crazy how crystal clear the water is. I can see a cutthroat cruising right there. I'm not gonna bother casting out to him though. Wow, it's just so pretty, man. Ooh, there's definitely gonna be some fish in here. This little log jam connected to the lake. I'm calling it. We're gonna get one right here, watch this. Drop her down. Dude, there's two, two of them. No, no, no. The smaller one went for it, brook trout. Can you guys see him? I could have had the one, but he was smaller. I just let him spit it out. Hey, buddy. There's a bigger brook trout. Oh, he denied it. He doesn't want it. There he is. There's a fatty big brookie. It's actually kind of a skinny fish. Look at that. What in the world? He didn't even fight at all. Look at that. Got like a sickly brook trout. Big old head on him. Almost no girth. Yeah, check that out. That's a really sickly looking fish. 
I'm not gonna lie, he's got a really big head, like the head of a pound and a half, or but he's just like paper thin. Look at that. Man, I don't know. Really pretty though, although he does need a meal. Thanks for biting, buddy. Hope you don't get caught again. He needs some real food. Well, folks, just taking a little snack break on the trail before we get going. I think I've decided to go back to the first lake we were fishing, try for those tigers again. I'm just tired, though. I think I've hiked probably over three miles because I actually stopped off at another little pond just to check it out. Well, I tried that little pond down there for a little bit. Didn't see anything other than like a little two-inch minnow. So I don't know. I don't know, but it's a super pretty spot anyway. Yeah, didn't work out too well. But I'm thinking now that it's getting a little later, the tiger trout are gonna start biting a little bit better. We might even tie the old goat minnow on. This old trapper teriyaki stick. Not too good, not a huge fan. All right, folks, well, it is a new day, obviously, as you can tell. Last night, I did end up trying that lake a little bit more for some tiger trout, but of course, we couldn't get any. I don't know, I, I guess I just suck. I gotta get better, find some new techniques, or I don't know, I just couldn't get into the tigers. So if any of you guys have tips, let me know in the comments below. But I was just super tired and I didn't even do an outro or nothing yesterday. I just left because I was just so exhausted. I was so frustrated with those fish. We are back at it the next day and we're gonna go for some brook trout and of course do a catch and cook. Can't end this video without doing a catch and cook. So we're gonna get to this lake and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Stay tuned. All right, here we are. Beautiful little lake full of brook trout. Been here many times before. I'm gonna start doing what I usually do. I've got a leech and a chronomid double rig. And we're just gonna toss it in all these fallen logs because I mean, that is brook trout territory. They love just hanging out close to shore. Last time I was here, I saw like a 50 pound beaver swim right by me. Kind of scared the crap out of me. So we're gonna keep an eye out for him. I'm gonna dip this leech just right there. Let it sink, let it sink. Oh, there was one. Just missed him, saw him too. I kind of was lifting it up at the same time. Didn't get a good hook set into him. He might come back though. There he is, got him, got him. Watched him pick it up right off the bottom. He ate the leech. Nice, nice. This is a fat brook trout. It is a good one actually, wow. Oh, he's got a little bit of fight in him. Dude, it does not get old catching brook trout. Just catching fish, man. Just setting that hook and watching them fight. It does not get old no matter how much, oh, almost died. No matter how many times you do it in the net there's lunch for us folks that is a perfect fish to cook they don't get too much bigger than this because they're quite stunted in here there's a lot of them and that is a brook trout beautiful and tasty super fat and healthy although they don't get too much bigger than this in this lake all right let's get another one all i'm doing is just flicking it out right there letting it sink to the bottom and then just kind of slowly bringing it across the bottom he, he got it there we go another one came out from under the weeds smoked it there we go got it oh golly in the net there we go it's weird anytime i'm running like a chronomid or a leech setup no matter what if i've got a leech on they always go for that like i don't understand it i mean what does that tell you such pretty fish man i love them man i could look at this fish all day long we'll get him back see you later buddy so we'll do that again right there so right in front of me it's open because there's some rocks and there's some springs that pour in right under my feet so a lot of the fish like to stack up right around it because you know fresh water and food and then there's weeds on both sides right there but there's a channel right there i'm just flicking it out as far as i can letting it sink and with my polarized glasses i can see it sink just about all the way to the bottom and then once i think it's on bottom i'm just kind of lifting it up and then just kind of dragging it just barely keeping it above the bottom and then like that last fish shot out of those weeds right there like he was just hanging out in the weeds shot out and grabbed it in the dirt 
Like just totally pinned it up against the dirt. So just letting it sink, letting it sink. And then also watch your line because sometimes brook trout will just pick it up. And like right there, dude, like right there, my line just jumped. Oh, he just popped off. That was a little guy. Anytime you're stripping flies without an indicator and you're just letting the flies sink down, just watch your line because the second, like, like right there, dude, like clockwork. The second you see your line jump, set the hook. This is a nicer fish. This is a nicer fish. Or he's fighting harder. It's a good one. Nice. God, I love doing this, man. <laughs> this is so much fun, man. I love this. Got him in the net. Another nice fish. Later. There we go. There we go. All right. Letting it sink. And just watching my line. Now, once I think it's at bottom, just give it a slow little strip like that. My line went. There he goes. There we go. <laughs> Same spot, man. Okay, this one is feeling a little bit heavier. I think this one's a little nicer. I always say that. <laughs> Just gotta make sure they don't dig their heads into those weeds because then that's a pain. Get over there. This is where an extendable net comes in handy. What is that, number five or so? I don't know, we don't keep track around here. It's not that I can't count, but... See you later, buddy. All right, guys, it is the best part of the day, cooking time. We got our brook trout right there, all cleaned up. Got some garlic, lemon, and then we have an assortment of herbs from my mom's garden. I think we got thyme, lemongrass, and then something else. its I can't remember what it's called. It's not parsley, but I don't know. It smells good. <sighs> Thought it'd go good with the fish, so. Yeah, we're going kind of fancier with it, you know? Just adding the garlic and herbs. Well, you know what? First, we should probably get the garlic already. You wanna know what's really healthy? good for your immune system, just all around, makes you a healthier person. It's raw garlic, but buddy, it is spicy, and you're gonna be tasting garlic for about a week, but in the name of health. Woo! That's bad, dude. I had an old boss. Every single morning before we'd leave to the job, he'd eat a raw clove of garlic. All right, anyway, that should be enough, right? Now my mouth tastes like garlic. Hmm, I'm almost thinking we might have to cut our fish in half. Just because it's so darn big, or the pot's so small. Well, I think we can get away with just throwing, well, I'm gonna cut the tail off at least. Yeah, that'll be perfect. All right, now we'll take our garlic, drop it in there. Squeeze a little lemon juice in there as well. We're gonna have a concoction all brewed up. And then our little bag of herbs, we're gonna go ahead and just pick the leaves off and drop them in there. Getting a little fancier today. It's kind of fun. Yeah, dude, I can't even remember what this is called. It's not a spearmint. I don't know. It smelled like it would go good on fish, so I grabbed some. And this will add some color to the dish. And I don't know if this is, I think this is the time. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of salt and pepper and sprinkle some of that in. And there we go, there's our little concoction. Lemon, butter, garlic and some thyme, parsley, lemongrass, whatever it is. And then, you know what? Let's cut some lemon slices and stick them in the fish. All right, now we'll go ahead and set our fish in. Fits kind of perfectly. A little more lemon. Dang. Yeah, if that fish isn't just amazing, we got a problem. God, this is so much fun. Just going out, man, fishing for like 45 minutes, catching some fat brookies. 
find a nice little spot under the aspens and cooking up a fresh fish, man. Just chilling out here. I love it. Go ahead and baste it with some butter and lemon. Wow, that is a very strong smell. I can smell those herbs. And yeah, guys, once again, if you guys want a t-shirt like this one right here, be sure to follow me on Instagram and DM me if you want one. I think I've got a couple smalls left and then some XL, XX, and XXX. So if any of you guys are interested, just message me on Instagram. And I'm going to be trying to do some more designs here pretty soon. I've got one in the works. Hopefully, we're going to get it going real quick. Because uh, you guys sold out the last batch of shirts I made. So that's awesome. I definitely want to step the merch game up should be able to flip it here i think that one side's just about cooked should be oh yeah the lemon slices are kind of falling out there you go that looks good to me i'm gonna pull the skin off and the fins a good indicator of if it's done or not is the fins just come out like that with all the bones There's the skeleton. We do have a little bit of meat on there. You can just eat it like corn. And there we go, folks. Got all the bones and the skin off. Now we just got good meat. We got the lemon right there, garlic, those herbs. I did move over in the shade because it was just getting a little bit too sunny over there and it's hot, so. Nice bite of brook trout. Hot off the pan. That's good, that's good, but there is a little bitter taste. I'm thinking it might be from those herbs. I did rinse them off, right? I didn't just pull them straight out of the garden. It's definitely weird, yeah. There's like a bitter aftertaste. My favorite is when there's a little golden crisp on it like that. There's a little burnt piece of garlic. That's weird. Cooked garlic is just as weird. It's not spicy anymore, but that might be what's bitter. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. A lot of fun. I love doing this, man. I don't know how many times I can say it. Also, if any of you guys want a shirt, I'll leave my Instagram in the description. Go follow me. Shoot me a DM. We'll see if we have your size. We'll get it out to you. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.